Check the markets, please. It's a rally, and it's holding. Dow's up uh, 370. Look, the Nasdaq is now up more than 200 points. It's time we brought in David Barnson. We need Barnson today because he's the dividend guy. He tells us which stocks are really powerful dividend players, and he's brought along two today. First off, J.P. Morgan, best bank in the world, David? Well, it certainly is the best bank in the world, and that automatically makes it the best bank in our country. Uh, very diversified, a lot of different revenue sources. You saw yesterday, their fixed income trading was way down, equity trading was way up. Their mortgage business, credit card business, they're just very well run, much more conservative. They way overestimated what loan losses were going to be during the pandemic, and now they get to reclaim a lot of that to the bottom line. Uh, the stock is up over 500% since we bought it 10 years ago, and the dividend has grown the same percentage. So I know, Stuart, you like it when I come on with the big high dividends. This one's only about 2.5%, but they've grown it every single year, 10% per year. That's what we're after. Okay. In the past, you've talked to us about oil companies paying a very strong dividend. ExxonMobil, for example, that's another one that you like, I think. Oh, it is. We've owned it for a long time. And the reason I bring up Exxon today is that my analyst at our firm ran a report for me yesterday where we looked at the oil price movement over the last 50 years and Exxon's dividend through that time period. Six times oil prices have had a major drop. I mean, they've had hundreds of small drops, but six times a major drop. And all six times Exxon maintained and grew their dividend through that period. So we don't don't believe Exxon's dependent on a high oil price. Now look, we don't like it like last year when they're obviously in much more precarious financial position, but they navigated through it. They cut back their expenditures. It's now paying basically around a 6% dividend, but they've been growing that over 6% per year for 50 years. And right now, Stuart, for the first time in a decade, their cash flow is double the amount of the dividend. So yeah. there's a lot of safety okay. that's built up because of improved capital discipline. We like what we're seeing out of Exxon. You made a very good case right there. David, thank you very much for being with us. Good stuff today. Appreciate it. Always.